The next step is going to be to hollow out that cube to make it a box, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of these uh, transparent boxes and pull that onto the workspace as well. What this is, is is basically empty space, okay? And you will see how that works in just a minute if you don't know, but we're going to um, merge this empty space with this hollow space, with this solid space in order to create a hollow cube. Now remember, this cube is 40 by 40 by 40, which means that this cube, if we want to make it uh, the carve out of our box, we want it to be a little bit smaller than 40 by 40 by 40. So here's what I recommend. Let's make each the length and the width three millimeters shorter, which is gonna make them 37 by 37. So let's look and let's click on one of these white handles here. And then inside the box, I'm gonna change that to 37. I'm gonna change this one to 37. But for the height, let's make it bigger than 40. Trust me, this is gonna make our lives a little bit easier. I'm gonna make it 45. So now it is just a little bit taller, but a little bit narrower in the length and the width. And what we wanna do is we wanna get this hollow box centered into the solid box. Now that's easier said than done. Um, you can see it's not really correct. So I'm gonna click on that again and, and drag it out. And I'm gonna show you a cool tool. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna draw a box around both of my cubes here to select both of them. You can see they're both selected. And then in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click this tool right here, which is our alignment tool. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us a series of little black handles that we can click on in order to align them in different ways along the Y and the X axes. So let's start with the Y. We want them centered to each other on the Y, which means I'm gonna click on the center black handle there, and now they are aligned with each other. And now I want to align them so that they are centered with each other along the X axis as well. So if you hover over that handle, it will give you a preview of what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna click on it and then click outside of it to turn off the alignment tool. And look at that, there they are. We've got our solid box and our transparent box centered inside of it, but sticking up a bit, makes it a whole lot easier to see. That's why we made it a little bit taller. Now, the problem is the hollow box is still touching our work plane, which means that there would be no bottom for our box. And we want it to be able to hold stuff, otherwise it's not a box, it's more like just a kind of a square tube. So we're gonna um, click on our hollow box, and then remember this little black arrow right here lifts it or lowers it along the Z axis from the work plane. And we're gonna lift that up three millimeters. So I'm gonna click there, one, two, three, and you can see right there, three millimeters. And if we spin it around, we don't see that shimmery anymore. So we've got a bottom. And we are going to combine these two things together. Ready, here we go. Left click and drag to select both of those things. And then we are going to click on this tool right here, which is the group tool. I'm gonna click on that. And look at that. All of a sudden, I'm gonna click out we have a box with our perfectly centered hollowed out portion. Awesome. 